Hey guys, so today I'm really excited because I finally got my Glossier Cloud Paints and I've been waiting for these for so long. I don't think I've been this excited about any of Glossier's releases before, let alone about blushes before. So I am really excited. I got to play around with these yesterday, so I thought I would share my thoughts about the product and show you the colors that I got. I have three out of the four shades. I got the color Beam, Dusk, and Puff. The fourth color is like a really deep berry type of shade. I tend to stay away from those shades just because my skin is olive toned and I find that it doesn't look as good on my type of skin tone. So I didn't pick up that one. I am also not 100% sure that Puff is going to look great on me because I do tend to stay away from pinks, um, but I wanted to try it out anyway. So before I go into the shades and show you the colors, I wanted to quickly talk about the consistency of the product. It's kind of hard to explain because it is cream blush, but it doesn't have the consistency of any other cream blush I've ever tried before. It also kind of acts as a blush stain when you have it on, is what I felt like, but again, the consistency is not that of a blush stain. That took a while to get out. <laughs> the best way I can describe it is it kind of feels like the consistency of a light lotion. I don't really know how else to explain it, but when you put it on or when you take it out of the tube, it's not thick and it's not sticky, which is really, really great because I hate that about creamy blushes. It's also not extremely oily or shiny. So what I really like about these is that they do leave me looking fresh, but I don't look overly shiny, which a lot of products nowadays tend to do that for me. Let's start with Puff. I'm just, I'm curious about this one because it is a really light pink, which I don't tend to go for and doesn't normally look good on me. But Glossier does a really good job of showing you what each shade looks like on every skin tone. So if you are lighter or darker than me, I would suggest going to the website and looking at the photos that they have up there. So, wow, so pigmented. Um, it really is kind of like finger painting. Like, it's so easy to put on. Let's do the other side now. It is a little scary when you first put it on because it looks so pigmented, but as soon as you just kind of move it around, it blends out so nicely and seamlessly. I did take out too much of the product, so I'm thinking maybe I'll show you what a second layer looks like on. Well, it's really pink. This is definitely a really good summer look. It doesn't look bad, it's just not for this, it's not the right season for it yet for me at least um but it looks really good i'm surprised at how all the shades work on every skin tone somehow i don't know like out of all the shades in the world they picked the ones that work for everyone it really is very impressive up next we've got dusk this is a really great color for um I would say medium to dark skin tones. I think it works on mine as well because I'm olive toned, but if you're fairer, you could actually use this as a bronzer um, and contour with it. Let's see. So this is one layer. I feel like I could use another one just because it's very light. I do feel like this is a better contouring color for all the lighter skin girls. Just 
This looks really nice. God, these are awesome. I know everybody loves Glossier and it's no secret that they have a really great marketing team, but like beyond that, the product itself is truly amazing. Like they really do make amazing products. All right, this is two layers. It just, I like this. It makes me look tan. This is really great. I just love how seamless it is. You know what I mean? You can't tell that I just like put blush on there. It looks like blended out so well. And it's so easy to apply. I would even put some of this up here just to like bring in some warmth to my face. Um, just like you would with a bronzer. This is great. You know what, I'm gonna do that. See what happens. But this is so good for contouring. I hope you can tell the difference. I didn't want to put on too much, but. I just look like Tanner. Next up is Beam. I am super excited about this color just because I feel like coral and peachy colors look best on my skin tone. Um, but this definitely looks more of like a peach than a coral. I feel like I need- Ugh, I always put out too much. Be careful when you squeeze these out. This is what one layer looks like on it's like the perfect amount i don't really think you need more than one layer but i will do a second layer of this one too just so you can see what it looks like <laughs> so pigmented these are really good legitimately the best blush i've ever tried i'm not even saying that just because i'm like obsessed with glossier it's true I hope this review helped some of you if you were on the fence on which color to buy or if you weren't sure what the consistency was like. I swear to you, these will work for anybody and everybody. For those of you who are new Glossier customers, there is a link down below where you can get 20% off your very first purchase, so I would definitely take advantage of it. If you haven't purchased Glossier products before, this would be a really good product um, to try out first. For returning customers, there is a coupon code that gives you $6 off if you purchase two of these together. So I'll leave both of those links down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.